hi you guys I'm back that's a tree <sighs> I received a letter well actually I've received a lot of letters a lot of hate mail today boy really severe hate mail um, anyhow I wanted to um, answer a question that somebody asked me and they said okay if Pendar molests uh, uh, animals and little children why would I want to bring them back well I said if you listen closely that I want to bring him back to talk to him to inhabit my master mason when he inhabit when he would inhabit my master mason to talk to me it would not be permanently it would just be for a small period of time two hours is the longest and uh, the longer that the body that he inhabited was wounded the shorter the time it's got until the last time was like 30 seconds I couldn't even hardly keep him in and so, like I said in my earlier video, that right now I think where he's at is the best place for him to be until we can figure something else out to get him the energy that he needs. Because as sad and reckless as it is, what they're doing, it still appears to be that if they don't have sex, and they don't have sex with children, and they don't have sex with animals, and if they don't instill terror in other people, or and if they don't drink the blood then they can't get the energy it's really it's ironic the way this all works um, so like I said I want to bring Pendar back through my master Mason master Mason Michael Rogers God I hope you're okay please be okay write to me just do it take a chance be courageous look you already joined the order lost your soul gave yourself up because the only reason they weren't able, able to inhabit your body to begin with was because you pledged your allegiance, okay? And you did that, and you lost it out of your body for 20 years. Now, not many people sell their soul to the devil and get it back. You've got a second chance, a new lease on life, and you're right back to where you started. You're still, you know, even though you denounce sex and you won't drink the blood or do the things that you know, indulge in those things, at least as far as I know, at least that's what you told me, but it still doesn't mean um, a whole lot if you're still serving them and doing their will and, you know, and, you know, all your high titles and everything that you have, your rank and board of, head of the Board of Governors of Shriners Children's Hospital and the, um, you know, the uh, royal gestures you know, the 181 court and the taxes, you know, I mean, you're, you're laundering nine digits. I mean, the money you're laundering through your tax business for these people. And, and you know, I mean, I know that you're forced to do it, and I know, hey, shh. I mean, I know that you don't feel like you have a choice, and I know that you know what you know, and I also know that they regularly um, use mind control on you constantly, and I know that <clears throat> you are being manipulated and exploited and experimented on and everything in more ways than probably most people. I mean, you are uh, very, you've been very important to Draken and to Pandar and to Elizabeth because you, your aura separates you from the rest of the other people's auras who have the dark aura <clears throat> that's inhabitable and compatible for the reptilian. Your aura <clears throat> is, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> cigarettes, I know. Your aura is different because that's why so much has been done to you. Anyhow, I love you. Take a chance. You know, uh, what makes a real man a man is not the size of his penis, it's the size of his balls. Courage. Okay? Take a chance. Stand up and be counted. How can it be any worse than it already is? I mean, look at you're in constant pain. Your memory is zapped all of the time. Your business, all that money going through there, and you don't even have any money or the keys to your safe and all your, you know, every, you're being manipulated and played so hard, you know. And, and I know that you don't feel like there's a way out of it, but if I can, the people of the world that are listening, you know, if we can come together and somehow let my master mason know that he's not alone then he'll he'll feel safe you know but he you know and even though he's in a dark place it's still safer there than it is to go out into nothingness with nobody 
you know, and he doesn't feel safe with me. I, and that's sad, but it's because of all the pain that he has inflicted, a lot of it, and that Drake had inflicted was because of me. Because, um, you know, you guys choosing to protect me instead of doing what you were told, and also because I put your names out there, you know. But I have to get the story down. I've told you guys that all along. I can't not record this. I have to tell the world they're part of it, too. We can't leave everybody out of this when this is their story. This is their miracle. This is They've been waiting for this for eternity. And then we're supposed you, you know, you expect me just to leave everybody out and not let them in on what's going on? You know, I can't do that. I won't do that. I will not hide the truth from any, for anybody, from anybody. I will not hide the truth. Um, and the truth is, is that you're going to have to make a decision, Michael. Me or Elizabeth pretty much what it boils down to. And I will protect you. We will find a way, I swear to you. But your safety is in the spotlight, not in the dark. Trust me on this. I'm telling you, you are so screwed right now if you stay where you're at and if you choose to walk away from me and from this. Anyhow, uh, Everybody, I'm going to, uh, I figured out how to split my uh, videos so that I can, don't have to stop at 10 minutes. I can just do the whole thing. So what I'm getting ready to do is probably going to take a lot of videos, and it's probably going to be, ah, did you turn off my computer? No, you didn't. Light switch. Oh, wait. Light switch. Um, okay, that one. Oh, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> I've got about 3,000 letters from Pendar, about... 35, 40 from the Queen. I've got letters from Draken. And, um, and so I figured the best way to, you know, let you guys know what was going on and stuff is just to read you the letters so you can see what happened. <clears throat> now, I've had many different email addresses and accounts and stuff that letters back and forth from me and Pandar. My biggest one is Illuminatri at Hotmail and Illuminatri at Gmail and uh, Weeping Willow Tree at Yahoo, Order of Chaos at Yahoo. Uh, <clears throat> and a few others that I've lost that have been canceled out on me. One time at my Master Mason's office, I scanned his computer and I found six different of my email addresses that were closed down on me with a bunch of files and stuff, and I found that those were in his computer with new password. They changed, got into my accounts and locked me out of them and changed the password to QWERTY, Q-W-E-R-T-Y. And I found that out, and so I recovered um, Lunar Mary and Tree 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 and a few others, anyhow. But they'd already been raped of all the information. So anyways, uh, after the first assassination attempt was made on Pendar, who was the leader of the, Le the Illuminati and who was the head reptilian, he was the snake in Genesis, and the only one above Queen Elizabeth at the time, uh, the first two, uh, assassination attempt she made on him was the very first time that he met with me, which was a few days before Halloween. And uh, then, right after that, this is, okay, this is November 20th, 2008, at 2.35 p.m. Well, that one's from Pendar. Now, this, he'd had me because he got scared about the email addresses or something because he thought that maybe Elizabeth was reading our emails and that's how she knew where he was and about the room and stuff. And so um, he had me, had my Master Mason contact me and tell me to